welcome to forum for bit in this program we would discuss the it 1203 computer systems one uh, course offered for the bit external degree program semester one today's discussion we will focus on four chapters which are part of the second half of the uh, course of this uh, course unit computer systems one so to start with we will first look at the uh, course content what it covers and for the discussion today i have with me Mr. Hakim Yusuf lecturer from university of colombo school of computing and the module coordinator so could Hakim describe first of all based on what areas of the subject uh, what's the content which covers well actually uh, we originally had uh, eight uh, chapters in this particular course and uh, now we are the second half covers basically four chapters so we start off the second half with expansion cards and sy system interfaces so here we'll be discussing a lot of uh, technical details of the expansion uh, slots and then how cards are fixed into it and what type of cards can be fixed into it and then uh, we'll also be talking about different in interfaces like uh, for example the most commonly used one one of the interfaces is the USB interface so we'll be describing about those and other interfaces which are available so that will be in chapter 5 and then chapter 6 will actually be leaving the technical side or the hardware side and moving on to a little bit of the software side because the computer system actually consists of software and hardware so we'll be talking about the software and uh, under this we'll be talking about system software and application software so we'll be going into detail about this and uh, then we move back into a more wider area where we leave the uh, uh, domain of a single computer and go into a domain of networked computer so we'll be talking taking an introduction into networks under this particular chapter 7 and finally we'll be talking about the more advanced uh, system maintenance and troubleshooting where students will gain an idea how they need to uh, maintain their computer and how they need to troubleshoot if their computer gives a problem. So these are the four basic chapters we'll be covering and uh, I'd like to uh, note to students that these chapters are not as simple as the four chapters we covered in the first half because that basically dealt with uh, more or less one to one out of the textbook content but here students are expected to have a little bit more extra knowledge and more hands-on experience so we'll be talking more technical practical and complex issues under these four chapters yeah now through this particular course uh, the first few chapters basically introduce the uh, what are the components and uh, getting uh, familiarized with the parts of the computer so now we are going into the level of knowing uh, some advanced components used as well as uh, uh, how they will be functioning together as well as uh, uh, how to maintain for continuing use so you will need to uh, have some sort of a more practical and theoretical exposure uh, to grasp the uh, knowledge uh, required so with respect to a student uh, studying for a program uh, uh, what sort of thing they should do uh, uh well actually uh, we've uh discuss this in a previous program as well but uh, it, it's good to uh, go back and make sure that students have understood what we've discussed before so basically we've identified the four questions that could occur in a student's mind and the first one is uh, what should I be able to do at the end of this course so that is basically described in the larger learning outcome or the learning outcome of the course and then uh, what resources so basically uh, what resources they have to learn from so in this case we have references reference books we also have uh, developed a guidebook for students and we also have a very expandive LMS which is very user friendly for students to log in and uh, get the knowledge they require to uh, ultimately meet the learning outcome so uh, again another question we've identified is uh, what activities should I do to learn them so because uh, we have looked at learning as a set of doing a set of activities so that students get familiarized and since uh, computer systems is more or less a very practical subject 
we expect students to get some hands-on experience. So learning activities in the syllabus, they are already mentioned in the syllabus, but we also have some additional learning activities in the LMS. So if students follow these, they should be able to meet the learning outcomes. And uh, finally, uh, be the most important thing for students, like how will learning be assessed? So we will have a final examination plus two uh, assignments based on MCQs. Yeah. So, uh, the, well, most of these steps are common for all the courses uh, yes. uh, or any study program, uh, but in this particular BIT degree program, we have uh, offering uh, certain assistance through the e-learning environment and especially for computer systems, uh, uh, now to learn of how to uh, fix various cards and things, uh, it's not something you can play and you, if you, something goes wrong, yes. uh, there is an issue, but then through e-learning, you can get that experience uh, or feeling uh, because uh, nothing will happen to the part uh, yes. by trying to fix and see what's the outcome. So, something you need to uh, uh, log into and uh, uh, get the best use of the available facilities. So, with respect to going back to the, the first point uh, of the learning uh, outcome, so uh, should we, we should uh, look back at the main objective of this particular course and then the sub objectives of these four chapters. Uh, uh, so, could you uh, expand on that? Uh? Yes, like uh, we would like if students could uh, always go back to the main learning outcome and see how what they learned relates to what they are doing. So, basically the main learning outcome of the Computer Systems 1 course is on completion of this course, you will have the fundamental knowledge to install, configure, maintain and troubleshoot a computer system. And so then under this we have uh, defined sub-learning outcomes for each chapter. So now for example if we look at the sub-learning outcome, uh, an example one is will be students will be able to extend the system capabilities by connecting appropriate devices. So that is basically we are expecting students to have the knowledge of expanding their system so that basically relates in uh, not directly but it relates to expanding a computer system so that defers to ex expansion cards and uh, uh, expansion slots so this we uh, uh, hope that students understand that the learning outcomes meet the main learning outcome of the course because it is always to do with install configure and maintain